Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with another Proto Tech Tip. And today we've got some tips to deal with cable management when you're prototyping and building enclosures with electrical components inside. So one of the most frustrating parts of designing an enclosure is having to manage all of the seemingly endless miles of cables that can come with your components. Cables and wires are obviously required for making your design actually run and function, so we can't just ignore this problem. Thankfully, there are strategic ways that you can run cables inside your enclosure to offer minimum interference with other aspects of your design. These can be using things like fasteners, cable trays, formed features, and much more. So in this prototype tip, we're going to talk about a few of our favorite ways to do cable management. So let's get to it and let's start with fasteners. Tie down fasteners are a must have for any type of enclosure with component wiring in it. These fasteners can be inserted into a square hole anywhere on a flat surface and come in a pretty wide range of sizes. Once these are inserted, they offer a mounting point, as you can see here. If you mount these in a strategic location, you can bundle up a lot of wires at once and then fasten them to this tie down point using zip ties or any other means. Having a few of these located in areas that are wire or cable heavy can be extremely useful in managing the space inside your enclosure so that it's not a mess of wires going in every which way. Another great option you can use is a cable tray. A cable tray is a simple piece of bench sheet metal that you can place anywhere in your enclosure that wires would be run along. This allows a straight linear place for the wires to gather, keeping them away from other areas of your enclosure. These can be especially useful for more wire heavy enclosures with many components. Now along the same vein, but a little bit different would be bending a small tab within the inside of your enclosure. This would essentially offer another mounting point, kind of like a tie down. Or if you would rather not tie anything down at all to your enclosure, you could always just use zip tie and zip tie your wires or cables together. Then leave them running loose in a specific arrangement. Now my final tip before we wrap up, make sure to keep cable management top of mind in the early planning stages of your design process. If you do make note of all the different wires and cables inside your build, you can better plan where they're going to need to go and how they should be secured. Now, if you only consider cable management at the very end, it may be a really tight squeeze to fit around all of your components that are inside. And then, well, we're just back to being frustrated again. So heeding all of the tips that we've covered today is going to get you to a better end result and much faster. Now here at Protocase, our mission is to take the frustration out of sourcing your custom enclosures and parts. Long lead times and latencies stifle your projects and kill your momentum. That's why we've developed a unique mass customization manufacturing process that's fast, flexible, and easy. So if you haven't yet experienced the magic of getting your custom parts manufactured in two to three days, give us a shout. We're here to answer your questions and to give you a fast, accurate price quote on the parts that you need made. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this week's Prototech Tip, and we'll see you back here again next time.